My name is Mehul Halari. Today we have got a super talented Laura Plancarte, a visual artist, writer, director, filmmaker, a social entrepreneur uh, who has worked in a social issue of migration, immigration through various mediums of filmmaking. We welcome you, madam. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, let's start with a basic question like you know you started uh, with a visual artist you are a visual artist before and now you shifted to filmmaking so how was your experience and the process uh, of moving towards filmmaking well it has been actually i have to say an incredible journey um i nine years ago i got um, um the opportunity to come to london to make uh, um, some studies in filmmaking and I thought that I was going to study um, filmmaking in order to enrich my uh, practice as a visual artist. But when I came to London, I fell in London and I fell in love with cinema. And now today I work mainly as a filmmaker. And throughout my process I actually fell in love with documentary. And I really really um, enjoy and I'm very happy you know to work with real people with real circumstances because I do think we are living in a world that actually needs it okay. and that needs it and that needs it through the perspective of um, people that don't have a commission so there's no the agenda of an institution playing a role in a film but it is actually just artists expressing their voice with the voices of other people without thinking about money or uh, politics or an institution in particular but just making it as, as, as they see it and as the people and giving this voice to these people in that way. Okay, nice. I guess this is your second year with the Rain Dance Film Festival. Yes. Uh, your first movie was Octavia Plenate and your second one is The Sibling. So how was your experience working with Rain Dance and the love and the, all the happiness that you got with the festival? Well, um, I have to say I'm very grateful with the festival. I'm very happy to be here for the second time. And it's fantastic because it has the, it's the second time in ch and after two years. So it's, it's, it's right now I think it's a lucky moment, actually. <laughs> and uh, I had a great experience with Tierra Caliente because it came to here and we didn't change the name um, into English because Tierra Caliente in Mexico is a region. So it would be, for example, to say Wales here. So there was no need to put a name um, in English. And with that name came out in the festival's program. And it was the first film to sold out. And it's when I realized that audiences actually surprise you. And that we believe, OK, when we make the film, OK, this is for this, um, uh, this market or this audience. But then things make surprises. And I think sometimes much more than what people um, sometimes in the works in marketing or distribution want to, want to take in. Yes, yes, because who would have thought that a, a, a film with that name and about the drug wars in Mexico will be, the first, be the first one to sell. So it sold out. And um, Reinders gave us an extra screening. And we had an incredible, an incredible time at the festival. And I loved it. And I live in London, so now when I was finishing my film, and it was the time for Raindons, I sent the film to Raindons for them to watch. And fortunately it was selected, and I'm very happy to be here. And it's, this is the starting point, but from here, hopefully the film will go to many, many places. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yes. But then, if you talk about your current film, that is Siblings, mm -hmm. so tell us about uh, Siblings. One, how did you conceptualize this particular movie? How did you think about this particular movie? Well, I think uh, with this, with siblings, it's a film I wanted to make since a long, long time ago. I am Mexican. Um, I was born and raised in Mexico City. I grew up hearing and reading about Mexico and the U.S. fighting and making sure. up and fighting and making up. And I always saw our relationship as um, super codependent and toxic. It was like a toxic marriage in a way where the stronger part beats up the weaker part of, of, of the relationship, but the weaker part takes it. And I always thought, why are we doing this to each other? Because it's not going to change. We are neighbors. Our border is, is, is a large, large border, the one we share, and I think it's the most transited border in the world. So I don't think that will change even with walls. 
because our cultures are too intertwined. If you go to the northern states of Mexico, you see the influence, and if you go to the southern states of the United States, you see incredible influence. And the community that has, you know, been born through this mixture, I think has great potential and thinks a beautiful third culture. And we need to celebrate it instead of putting it down. So I think it's, I, I, I always saw it's time to be able to think about our relationship in different terms and in, in a, a different reality. So that's why I wanted to make a film that was able to show the perspective of both sides mm -hmm. and that wanted to reflect on how we want to simplify things and in the world we're living at we sometimes wanted to put them into this is white, this is black, this is good, this is bad and Oh, reality is not like that. Reality is constructed by an incredible amount of layers and of colors and we need to accept it in order to be able to have better chances of coming with better solutions. Now, if we, if we start talking about the movie as a whole, like, you know, I, I got a chance to watch that movie and everything, and then what I saw was, like, you know, uh, the couple, as a family, they, are, they started having a meal, that is an afternoon lunch, and like you, you have a next focus or uh, straight away on the image of the mother. Yes. And you are talking like you know over there. That, that mm. why do you want to go? You uh, the wife is asking the husband that why do you want to go to USA? Like you know he is deported from multiple times from that. Mm -hmm. And then he says that like you know okay no because it's my dream. Like you know I want to go over there. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly shift the focus to the child and there is a question over there. The child has been asked, do you want your father to go? And the child says, no, I don't want my father to go. Mm -hmm. And then you, the very next shot you take as like, you know, uh, the child and the father is playing. So what exactly was running? Like, you know, you are showing an image of a mother over there mm -hmm. and you are just transcending towards a child. So how, how was that uh, visualization of that whole experience over there? Well, the whole experience of that film is to see the importance of family. Exactly. I think the, the situation here is with the brothers is that everything starts, like if you say, what I, everybody would say, oh, Mexicans go to the United States because of bettering their economy. And it is true. But I think it has become more complex than that. And I think what we can see is that when the, 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 the brothers were, were, were very little, their father died and their mother couldn't couldn't take it. She was too depressed. She was 19 and she was widowed with the two boys. So she left to the US in order to, with the pretext that she was going to find better economy for them. But what she was doing it was escaping a terrible reality. And it's important to see the brother now with his new family. He he said he said a grown man, but in his heart He's still a child, and that's the whole problem of this film, that he's a father and he has a wife, but the thing is he's still the little boy that has been left from, the, from like, with that, uh, from, from his mom. So it's kind of that complexity, so that's how that scene comes around, that we are able to see that when you don't resolve your parent-child issues, they always haunt you. So like the, the, the brothers haven't had, because of the lack of structure, they haven't had the opportunity to realize that, that what they're really missing out in the life, more than economy, is the situation of not having had parents, not having had those role models. And that's what they're really missing out in life. I think if they would have parents, things would be very, very, very different. Their life would have come completely different. And I think it's one of the most important things. So why did you so why did you feel that you had to narrate this whole movie uh, with the two different perspectives which were extreme one there was a story happening on the side of the US one on the side of the Mexico how did that I came up with yeah, that two narrations at the same time because I wanted to show the perspective of uh, not make a film about immigration that only shows the Mexican side or not make a film about immigration that only shows the American side. I wanted to make a film where you could see both, both sides. So how did you think about bringing that shock effect in that particular last scenes and like, you know, especially uh, when the 
when they meet the mother and even when the American lady she realizes that okay her dreams are getting shattered gradually and the realization process how how was it for me as making it yes, exactly. oh very difficult that is very very difficult I actually I was in the car when that when that uh, when the situation between the okay. brothers and the mother happened okay. and you don't see me because I'm beside sitting beside the mother and because of the lens we have um, you cannot see me but I'm there and it was actually is one of the most um, surreal events that have happened in my life because I felt I shouldn't be there in a way because it was such an intimate uh, moment between them but it happened and I was um, in a way happy that it happened because I think the three of them needed I think the brothers needed it I think the mother needed it too I think the mother needed to be able to be confronted so she could say I'm sorry and the brothers needed to hear it and they needed to come together and I think they have this reconciliation in the film which is very important but I felt obviously it was very awkward for me because I felt I was invading a very personal moment in the family so it was it was something I will never forget but I think at the end it was very positive because I think it brought a lot of good things for the three of them and with the, um, Vanessa, the American lady, was very difficult because I'm the one in the car which she's very, she's angry at, you know, and she, because I, I'm, I have been witness, I have witnessed her poverty and for her that was very, very difficult and something that she obviously wasn't looking forward to it because I don't think nobody wants to appear poor and less when you are not born poor and that that happens later in life so how do you summarize this movie and what message do you think you want to convey with this documentary I would summarize this film as a really fresh perspective on immigration between Mexico and the US because it actually shows both sides of the story and actually also shows our similarities instead of our differences because I think it's always portrayed into how different we are and picking out in, the, in that but I hear here what the film achieves is that it shows all of the things that we have in common trying to build this bridge so we can communicate in a different way and I would really really like that the audience would actually after watching the film take in consideration the complexity of our, our reality and that obviously is ironic because we all human beings we want certainty what and what we have for certainty is change but we don't like to accept that what we want is to know what's happening and to have simple things like saying this is good this is bad I should go this road that not that road and have it all very clear as a map but the situation the reality is that things don't work out that way and if we don't accept it, we cannot come up with better solutions. And for me, this is the example with immigration with Mexico and the US. You cannot think you're going to find a better solution to what we have, which obviously doesn't work, if we don't start by hearing each other. And by hearing each other is putting faces to the, to, to the problems and be able to say, okay, what happens if I, I was in her shoes? What happens if I was in their shoes? And I think just by making that exercise, I think we could come up with better ideas of how to start, first of all, a dialogue. So, um, before we end this, uh, can we know what are your upcoming projects or what are the new projects you're working on? Yes, well, I am working on a new project. I cannot say much about it because I'm just beginning. But I do want to say is that it is a film about the US and that it will be working with social issues in the US. And I have to say that being Mexican, I was neighbor to the US, so I went before to the US on holiday, for example, I traveled and I, I found it nice, but I knew little about it. But it's throughout this film, knowing Vanessa, and I traveled to different American states in order to make the collage that appears in the film in several times, that I was able to to find it very, very fascinating and things that I want to question about it. And it's, for example, still is the US the most important 
country in the world, yet there's no health care for everybody. And there's, they have a lot of poverty. So how is it possible if you are the most powerful country in the world, I think you should already have had that everyone in your country has medicine, education and housing because if not what is what does the power serve you if you cannot give to your people that for what it is the power so there's many questions I want, I'm asking about um, the American society that I would like to work in a deeper level and I think they have a lot of um, you know um, qualities but also a lot of things that we need to ask questions about so that's I'm very very interested and I hope it works yes thank you very much uh, Laura for your time and we wish you best for your upcoming projects and especially siblings thank you thank you so much Mehul I really appreciate it and thank you you know for being here and I hope we can keep on sharing more definitely thank you